Hi, this is Per from Kiratch, and today I'll talk a bit about pitch tracking in Snapheap and how you can use it to make some really cool effects. I have this little uh, funky bass line that I'll use as an example. Um, first off, I'll just add a limiter here to the final lane, just so we don't blow our ears off if we make some mistake. Uh, let's add a filter to this. So, it's a normal filter. And uh, I can go to the pitch tracking tab here in the modulation section. And let's connect the pitch to the cutoff of the filter. And what I've done now is I have a filter and it perfectly tracks the pitch of the bass line uh, on its cutoff. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I can also, of course, modulate it in other ways. Could add an LFO to the cutoff. Oh, I got this sweet wah wah sound going on. And this works for uh, many different snap ins. Basically, everything that has some sort of frequency control, uh, frequency knob, you can uh, connect the pitch to it and it does something interesting every time, almost. For example, let's try the, um, the ring mod. If I just add the ring mod as it is, you can quite clearly hear that it sounds like shit. But uh, when I connect the pitch tracking to the frequency, suddenly it sounds a lot better. And that's because the ring mod uh, internally has its own oscillator controlled by this uh, frequency knob um, and when it's out of tune with the sound you're playing it, it, it sounds non-harmonic and, and not so nice but when you modulate it with the pitch tracking then uh, it actually plays the same frequency as the underlying sound and uh, it sounds harmonic and nice instead and I can of course tweak the bias and the rectify controls here and stuff um, I can also tweak the frequency knob of the ring mod to offset the frequency of the internal oscillator. Um, the default value is 440 Hz, uh, which is sort of the baseline for the pitch tracking as well. The root note here is set to A4, which is exactly 440 Hz. And that's no coincidence, of course. Um, let's say I change this frequency to half of 440, so 220. This actually drops the frequency of the ring mod one octave compared to the bass line. I think that sounds really cool. Sort of distorted in a way, so let's add, add, let's add some more distortion. Why not? Yeah. yeah that's funky. Let's bring the filter back as well. That's pretty cool. I like this. So yeah, the pitch tool. Try it on everything. It's it's really useful. Um, also, if you don't, if you're not working with audio input, but you have actually have MIDI input, then you can go to the MIDI tab and um, if you connect everything correctly in your door, you'll actually have the MIDI notes coming out uh, on the note slot here. I could use that instead of the pitch tracking for even even better tracking. Pitch tracking can handle most inputs, but it has some problems with chords, for example. So yeah, have fun, and see you next time.